Allison. I'm here today with Blair and Laura. We will be discussing some myofascial lines. So the superficial front line aids in with the superficial back line and keeping the body straight up and down defying gravity. One way that you can stretch this line is by doing a king cobra position. Another way that you can stretch it is in a little more uh, advanced way is by flexing the knee. And one way that you can work the superficial front line is by a V-sit. But instead of having your feet plantar flex pointing outwards, you have them dorsiflex pointing towards you. You can make this a little more difficult by outstretching your arms, by flexing your shoulders to make the exercise a little more complicated. Another exercise you can do is a crunch with your legs up in the air and your feet dorsiflex and you concentric concentrically contract your abdomen to put to try and touch your toes. So the superficial back line is important in supporting the body in full upright extension. It uses a lot of slow twitch muscle fibers for endurance as you are constantly using them and it provides extension in the entire body except flexion at the knees and plantar flexion of the foot. The superficial back line is also considered the primary curve of the body and is important for us in developing posture and being able to learn to sit and stand and be upright as humans. So it allows us a lot of movement in the sagittal plane. Well here are stretches and exercises for the superficial black line. There is seated with his feet hip width apart and he is going to reach towards his toes, hinging at the hips, and then dorsiflexing his toes as much as he can towards his chest. For a progressed version of this exercise, what we are going to do is start with a plank position and then walk back your hands towards your feet until the point where you can still keep the heels of your hands firmly on the floor. Now add dorsiflexion at the toes to really stretch out that back line. So for an exercise to work out, we are going to start with a prone back extension as demonstrated by Blair here. And it is an isometric strengthening exercise. To progress this exercise, we are going to add knee flexion, which will further contract the back line. So right now we'll be discussing the lateral line and its movement function includes lateral bends of the body and adjusting um, a sort of break for the lateral and rotational movements of the body. Its postural function includes mediating forces among all of the superficial lines as well as stabilizing the trunk and the legs to prevent any sort of buckling. So for our stretch, we're going to have Blair cross one foot over the other in an inverted position and then move the ipsilateral arm above his head into a crescent shape. For our movements, we are going to have Blair stand with feet shoulder width apart, abduct his arms as well as one of his legs into a star-like position, and then bring them back to beginning position. To progress this exercise, we are going to have him perform a star jump, which includes abduction and adduction of all four limbs at the same time. Now we're going to talk about the spiral line. Its postural function includes maintaining balance across all of the planes, as well as allowing the knee to track properly when walking. And there is a wide margin for it to functionally adapt to any imbalances within the body. And the movement function of the spiral line includes creating and mediating oblique spirals and rotations in the body as well as preventing any rotational collapse of the torso or the legs. For the spiral line stretch, we have flexion and adduction of the hip going opposite the body with spinal rotation as well, and then cervical spinal rotation of the neck opposite the leg. For this next exercise, we're strengthening the spiral line by taking the opposite hand and taking it to the contralateral side with some rotation of the spine as well as extension and flexion of the spine. Also make sure that there is rotation 
of the neck. All right, to progress the exercise that we did before for the spiral line, you take the contralateral leg and arms and you extend and flex, as well as extend and flex the spine. Here's our stretch for the superficial back line. The superficial back line connects to the superficial front or deep arm lines depending on the motion. It runs in two diagonal lines across the posterior of the body, connecting at the lumbosacral fascia, and engages contralateral muscle groups. Here's our stretch for the functional front line. The functional front line balances the functional back line with two diagonal lines across the anterior of the body, meeting at the linea alba. It engages contralateral muscle groups from the inferior side of the body to the superior side of the body. The thing that's unique about the functional front back line is that they are useful in the transferring of energy from the lower extremity to the upper extremity.